What is up guys, Tori Drake, Denver Realtor. Welcome to another new construction home tour. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do a ton of new construction home tours of all the new communities being built across the Denver area. We're diving into the Daniel model from Richmond America. If it's windy, I apologize, but we're gonna keep pushing through. And quick reminder, it is so important that you understand for all of the model to home tours I have, it doesn't matter when I posted the video, yesterday or five years ago, you can still shop for the home because this model here, the Daniel that, that we're about to walk through, yeah, maybe in five years, probably, the one behind me has sold, but Richmond American, is who's the builder, is gonna be building these models in different communities throughout Denver all the time. So once again, don't worry about the community the home is in or when the video is posted, you can still shop for it because the odds are extremely high they're building that model today in different communities. And I'd be happy to send you a list of where the build in the home if you want to know okay that being said Richmond American is the builder. The community we're in today is Crystal Valley. If you want to know more about Crystal Valley, I did a community tour of it here to show you tons of footage of it, tell you everything you need to know about the amenities, what's going to be happening here. So check that out. Let's go ahead and jump into the home tour. So as you can see from just those drone shots, Crystal Valley and a lot of the communities in Castle Rock, if not all of Castle Rock, have unbelievable mountain views. Now, quick heads up, the floors on here are a little dirtier. They were doing some construction work in and out of here, so please forgive that. Richmond American keeps grade A cleaning throughout all of their homes. This is just an exception because they literally were working on this model home today. You gotta love a bathroom right as you come in the front door. You never know when you're gonna be in an emergency situation where that helps. This home office is one of my favorites. Maybe it's because of the, I'm um, adjusting the camera here, apologies. Maybe it's because of the awesome built-ins on the wall or these kick-ass oversized couches, <laughs> or chairs, I mean. Uh, but I always really dig this home office. It's spacious, it's separated from the primary bedroom, which is great, just a really cool office. Guest bedroom number one. Number two, I was spacing out there. We just finished number two. Good storage space here. The oversized tall door, very cool. Subtle, but it once again just makes the space feel even bigger. It's not like it's a small space to begin with either. Those high ceilings, recessed lighting. Oof, Richmond American did a fantastic job on this model, Daniel. Surprisingly spacious pantry. When you see the door, you expect it to be smaller than it was, but there's some good size in there. The sink is missing, <laughs> my apologies. That's the, some of the work they're doing on this model home today. But I still wanted to show it to you guys. 
it just is for such a large space it's just it's so bright there's a lot of energy that comes in with the natural light the recess lighting and the patio right off the kitchen helps so much it just it makes it easy to bring the food outside it is it's a much easier transition and you're likely to use it way more when it's off of the kitchen especially like this one is Let's head into the primary bedroom and primary bathroom and see what it has to offer. I love that design on the ceiling. It makes it feel very grand and even bigger in here than it already is. Personally, I like how wide this is with the cabinets are pushed back a little bit as opposed to being right on the edge of that wall right there. It would make the space feel a little tighter. Just even pushing the cabinets back, I don't know, four or five inches makes the space feel a lot wider. Alright, down to the basement we go. Same level, well, not, not same level, but a nice, a nice level of brightness to the basement too. Nobody wants to spend as much time in a basement that feels dark and dungeony, unless you're intentionally built it that way. A surprisingly a ton of space down here. This flex room off the side could be an office, a gym like they set it up here. A lot you can do with it. Personally, I would make this my office because it's so removed from all the other bedrooms. The home office as they have it now is right next to the guest bedrooms, so you could be subconscious of the noise level that you're making. If you have kids sleeping or guests over, however having it down here, you could be as loud as you want. Alright guys, that is today's tour of the Daniel. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Well, that is the Daniel from Richmond American. Once again, don't worry about when this video is posted. Yesterday or five years ago, it's still relevant because Richmond American is building the Daniel today in communities throughout Denver. The odds are very, very high at least. I'd be happy to help you find where they're building this model or any model that I filmed or even didn't film. So feel free to reach out. I'd love for you to leverage the relationships I have in the new construction space and doing as much work as I do in them. Once again, guys, Tori Drake, Denver Realtor. If you liked the video, do me a big, big solid. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button because it'll just help me a lot and I will see you guys on the next one.